mortgage applications plummet 14% as higher interest rates and Hurricane Ian crush demand. Well, this is, remember, this is on a macro level. And it makes sense. I mean, Florida has been super shut down uh, for uh, the last week as they have to deal with now these challenges. Um, a situation like this is, is pretty uh, incredible because what happens is like, there's just a lot less activity that's going to be happening. So the transaction volume would plummet also in a lot of those areas got impacted in Florida. So don't be surprised with that uh, because that's a real life situation that, that occurred. But either way, this makes sense, right? Because mortgage applications will be a combination of different things, including purchase and refinance. Refinance is very, very few people will be doing that these days because most have been fortunate to have locked in a rate at three, four percent. So why would you want to do a refinance at this stage when it's nearly uh, double? Same with mortgage applications. So mortgage applications would decline. That being said, it's all relative. So look like this. Mortgage applications fell 13% for the week and were a steep 37% lower year over year. That actually aligns a lot closely to what, um, what, uh, what the purchase transaction volume would likely be. We had a very high transaction volume year last year, which is the highest in record. That being said, a decline of 37% is expected and it has already occurred. Now, if you compare that against 2019, we're probably about maybe 10, 15% lower than those numbers. So as you can see, it's all relative to what the timelines will be. When you have an artificially high number, which is like last year, then you'll, you'll be uh, anticipating this. And it certainly does not help if the Fed wants to keep a raising race to continue to impact the mortgage industry and the housing industry. So that continues to be um, something we'll continue to monitor. But that's what's been going on and is normal. Now, as you saw on my video last week, so if you haven't tuned into the video last week on last Saturday, we we'll actually go over the data itself so that you can see are there actually more transaction volumes happening or the things um, or where is the market at? <laughs> Excuse me. So those are the things to be mindful of as you go about your search. There are lots of opportunities out there. That being said, you're actually going to potentially see less new listings moving forward just in general, unless these things change, because some will decide not to sell or they're not comfortable in selling at the number of what the market would be. Thank you for watching this short on my YouTube channel. For more shorts, go ahead and click here. For more live streams, you can go ahead and click here. I'll see you the next one.